Hello and welcome to the Extreme Z Podcast, the only Dokkan podcast making your favorite talk show format relevant again. I'm your host, Epic Mew2. And I'm your co-host, Kevon. And today, we're going to be uh, talking a little bit about uh, some uh, some fourth year stuff. But how y'all some doing? Some monkey boys. Stuff. Some monkey boys, yes. Yeah, some big... So this whole episode, we might as well just call it so basically I'm monkey. <laughs> <laughs> That might as well be the title. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about um, if the SSJ4s are underwhelming or not because there's been a lot of discussion about it in the community. We're going to give you our thoughts on the yeses and the nos of what we think about the situation. But before that, as you guys know, we like to talk about the news. But yeah. let's uh, let's first ask you, how you doing today? You, yes, you watching this video. I'm talking to you. Look, that eye in my icon is about to turn and look at you. But anyway, oh, <laughs> bro, that would, <laughs> what if I edited it in? <laughs> Bruh. That would be, that'd that'd be kind of wild, y'all. But anyway, let's go over the news here. So we're, of course, going to go over JP news first. Obviously, JP um, has been popping recently. Um, Global actually has been pretty active, too. Maybe yeah. not as active, but still um, pretty Global's at least in, in its own hype right now, which is good. Yes, exactly. So, um, starting off on the 3rd, um, because that was the last um, time that we uploaded the podcast, um, there was a uh, there was an error on JP um, where they had to publish version uh, 4.2.1, where apparently um, some Dokkan Battle games couldn't start because of the new version. Oh, so uh, yeah, like, that error. I remember that. They were like, well, we got to fix <clears throat> that boy. So... They the put out a patch. JP, none. Yeah, right. I know, right? <laughs> but yeah, so they fixed that, so that was good. Um, then we had uh, the more like coins come, which w- w- you know we talked about that a little bit last time. But the coins were actually yeah. uh, implemented with the AGL banner, and those coins were the um, the blue coins, which are going to be the like general SSR banner coins. Um, yeah. they've been treating these coins really weird so far. So let's just sidetrack for a second and say this. So, yeah. well, first of all, with, by the way, the, um, the AGL banner was the first of all the tight banners that are coming out for the 4th year anniversary. Cause like they did last year, um, they put out one tight banner where you could do one multi, yeah. um, and you know what I did? I went back and watched the video where I did all those. They gave you a kite last time and this time they don't stingy. I know, but they did put better units on the banners this time, so I guess give and take. Um, yeah. But nonetheless, though, um, so the AGL banner came out first, um, and with it again came blue coins on that banner. So when you did a multi summon, you got ten blue coins. But the interesting thing was is that um, they put the two AGL support units on the banner, that being Pan and Meta Rildo, which is obviously you're thinking like, oh well, obviously that's a good thing. Why would that be bad? Um, but they put them in the blue coins, and the blue coin units cost more than you can actually obtain right now. I'm double checking what yeah. the price is. I'm opening up my Dokkan right now in the background. That, and they cost more than the 120 leads. Yeah, which is kind they of weird. Um, used for. Yeah, they they cost more than the 120 leads do. Though then again, those are red coins and these are blue coins. I don't know. You can't yeah. really like. I feel like you can equate the two, but at the same time, you can't. But, I, I guess blue coins are technically more easily obtainable, but. Let's figure out. We're mostly getting someone on Dokkan Fest banners. Yeah. Well, but how are they more attainable? You just put your stones on whatever. Well, because well, I mean, like, uh, we get I, more general banners than Dokkan Fest. I guess you're right. Yeah. I guess that's and true. And legendary summon banners are, like, the rarest, quote-unquote. Right. Um, like, they only come once in a once in a blue moon. Once in a... Uh, Actually, now that I think about this, a, yeah. little bit of, a little bit of a sidetrack. Yeah. Will Rising Dragon Carnivals have blue or yellow coins on them? Probably, oh, I don't like, know. I, Probably blue. blue. Yeah. Interesting. And they're not technically LR banners, but yeah. Um, mm-hmm. the support units cost 300 blue coins, and yeah. you can only get 20 from the Elder Kai summons you can do right now, and you can only get 10 from each type banner. So you literally mm-hmm. can't get. So what they've been doing is they've been rotating the uh, the support leads with every new type banner. So like then yeah. the tech banner is coming up here. Um, then they put the tech supports on there. But you literally can't get them. So it's just an odd choice that they would decide to put them on there and sort of like tease you, even though you couldn't get it. Moving okay. on though, 
Um, we had a little bit of information about an update to the punching event, so that will come later down the line, though. Oh, yeah. Um, the 21 stone weekend thing came back on JP, so that was cool. Then the tech Very banner nice dropped. Badass. Yes, indeed. Um, then we had the STR banner drop, which is oh, what well, is well. live, um, right now, but when this goes up, I think it'll be the int banner that will be live. Yeah. Um, then we had a new notice, um, for a upcoming oh, yeah. story event. Which was the uh, Goku Junior story event? The story event's very interesting it's because up Junior. Oh, did I say? Wait, what did I say? <laughs> you said Goku Junior. Oh, yeah. I keep I keep wanting to say Goku Junior. Yeah, I, I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, you fight through um like the Shadow Dragon Saga, but then the very last stage is where you actually obtain him. So it's it's kind of yeah. interesting. I mean, it kind of makes sense because that whole thing, if I'm right, happened after the Shadow Dragon Saga. Right, and in one episode. So. Yeah. You know, it makes sense, but it was just still a little bit odd. But anyway, so they teased that. Um, and then they also, um, they teased mm, the, oh boy. the live broadcast. We're not, we won't get into how mad I yeah. am that I missed it in here because we're just talking about the news. Um, boy, here's mad about a lot of things recently. Yeah. But, <laughs> I can't blame him. Yeah. But um, nonetheless, though, we got 44 stones for um, how many people watched it, which was cool. Yep. Um, this is where they announced. Um, well, I guess we'll just talk about that later. Um, they announced some stuff at the live stream that we'll go over later. Um, there was a new login bonus, which is cool. Um, and then there was also a new um, weird. Ca there were a couple like really weird campaigns where you basically just yeah. got stones for it. Um, another campaign where you got, um, four stones for doing seven different things that, yeah. um, was, uh, I believe that was related to the Dragon Balls. Like, this was the oh, mission yeah, for every it. Time you every time people collect the Dragon Ball, you get four, four stones. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Then, um, another event was announced, which is very weird. So, this one. Wish to the God Dragon. Yeah, is the Shinron stage. And there's seven stages. Not all of them are out yet, but they come out every day. And there's a certain requirement that you have to fulfill on each stage. And you get the Dragon Ball from each stage, which I've never done something like this before. Um, so it's very interesting. Um, the requirements, um, I can pull that up real quick, um, were yeah. found a while ago. Um, for the two stages that were up, or at least are up at the time of this recording, um, it is the, um, the first one was used in Oolong. Um, also, sorry, you heard that clapping. That was Amazon Echo. Um, the, oh, let's see. Here we go. The Dragon Ball, um, requirements were, um, using AGL or Tech Oolong on the first stage. None specified for the second one. On the third one, use the Turtle School link. On the fourth one, use the Pure Saiyans category. On the fifth one, use the Super Saiyan link. On the sixth one, no one specified. And on the seventh one, use the Majin Buu Saga category. Basically, every one of these alludes to the Wish for Shadow Dragon. Right, exactly. Or create a Shadow Dragon, rather. Right, and cracked a Dragon Ball, yeah. Yeah. So crack and open a dragon ball. <laughs> crack and open a cold or an orange one with the boys. <laughs> an orange one, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so some very cool stuff um actually came and tons and tons of stones. So the Vegeta Junior story event was announced and it has twelve yeah. stages and you can get twenty three stones from it just from the like event itself, which is incredible. Yep. And then along with that, like you also had the EZA with uh, Vegeta Jr. Right. Give another 30 stones. Yes, another 30 stones. And then so after that, right too, um, when you complete all of the fourth year missions, they give you 30 stones as well. Whack. Which is crazy. So um, along with that, too, then, was the announcement of um, a bunch of the uh, upcoming information, yep. um, which besides what we went over, um, Battlefield um, is getting out. Actually, that might be live when this goes up. Um, uh, I think it is, actually. Yeah, Battlefield um, is getting a little bit of a revamp. This won't be permanent, but it's going to be yep. GT themed with the GT bullies, with, our favorite. With the <laughs> advent of LR Oob. Yeah, so LR Oob um, is going to be added to um, the crystals, or what are those called? Memory or whatever? Um, so you can buy LR Oob with the memory from the Battlefield, which is pretty cool. Battlefield 2.0, of course. He's definitely a very nice uh, LR. Yes, he's a pretty good LR, especially for free-to-play. Transforming, yeah. too, which is pretty cool. Um, definitely so probably one of the best free-to-play R's besides uh, VP and Medical War. For sure. Um, so again, this GT thing is only temporary, just for the fourth year anniversary. Um, sorry, I just choked on something there. 
I got a piece of <laughs> hair in my mouth, I think. Oh, that was awkward, oh, bro. Anyway, <laughs> um, so they announced a new banner upcoming. This is our very first yeah. um, double LR featured banner yeah. that is not the Dokkan Fest. LR banner, they call it. Yeah, so this has two new LRs on it, which is a transforming Super Baby 2, or, well, I guess it's like Baby Vegeta, technically. Yeah. Um, and then so we're... he becomes Super Baby 2 afterwards. Yeah, he does. And then we're just calling this the intro to GT LR, right? Yeah. Yeah, so... The, uh, the Saiya Squad. The Saiya Squad, yeah. So it's a Goku, Pan, and Trunks um, LR, and literally their essay is just the GT intro. It's actually really cool. Um, now, 0 out of 10, their art doesn't have all of them wearing sunglasses. Oh I'm my mad. gosh. <laughs> Yo, maybe Imagine that'll be an LR. SR. No, let it be the LR, please. Yeah, there you go. That'd be cool. <laughs> Oh, yeah, because that's the SSR art, isn't it? Yeah, I can dream. Okay, interesting. Or maybe that's like the TUR. I don't know. Either way, though. Please. That would um, be a funny TUR. I'd keep them TUR if I pulled them. Oh, bet. But, yeah, so along with that is another Super Dragonstone sale. Thank you, Dokkan. Yeah. Very cool. Um, And then another Elder Kai banner. Yay. But then, um, with that came, as well, the update to the Punching Machine event. Yeah, so, and this is actually a pretty nice update. I'll, I'll yes, lots of good stuff here. So, a um, couple of things to note here. One, they added it so that all of the nuke leads are there. Um, you know, yeah. even ones like that are, you know, there's like two for each, or like two for some types, I should say. They added both, which is nice, so whatever you want to use. Um, and they even added those to the old stages. Now, you can use items, but that's they only on the, the new stages, too. Yep. Oh, that's so good. Mm -hmm. um, but you can only use items on the new stages, which I'm not complaining yeah. because at least you can use items at all. But even then, they have rewards, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's rewards for the new stages from 1 million to 99 million or whatever. Right. Nine, uh, I think it's, is it 99 million or 999 million? One of the two, but I think it starts from like the base, like 1 million for right. those new stages too, so... Mm -hmm. Your progress from the first stages don't carry over to the second stages, which is for the better, considering you can use items. Now. Right, and you get more rewards, and you actually get yeah. a lot of rewards from doing this. So definitely go try and, and it. You can actually, and you can actually get feasibly like on global right now if you're using the LR Gohan method. Whenever this comes, we like global technically has the advantage until JP gets the Monaka Monaka costume head support item. Oh, gets, because I, you can't use as many support items. Wait, pardon. Is that what you're saying? Because you, or support units rather, you have to use the um, rainbow orb changers. Is that what you mean? No, because uh, JP doesn't have that item at all. Yeah, well, like why? Because it's like uh, remember the board. No, no, no. I mean, like, oh yeah, yeah. But like, why is that important? Is what I'm saying. Because it's an extra five percent per key sphere. Oh, okay. Yeah, I yeah. guess that makes sense. To bring it, like, you know, like our Gohan even higher. Right. That's true. That's Fair what I mean. So that's a, wait, but JP at least does have the tech one, I believe. Yeah, I, I think they do. Was. Yeah. But anyhow, though. Takoyaki, that was it. Yeah, ta 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 whatever, Taiyaki. There we go. Wrong, wrong food, but okay. Whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> anyway, um, the uh, the rest of the stuff that has been here um, is still here, and it's going yeah. to be here till the end of the anniversary, which is nice. Um, the discounts on the Super Saiyan 4 banners have gone away by this point. Um, rest in peace. Uh, good night, sweet prince. And... <laughs> The uh, what kind of interesting too is that you're still getting tickets every day, which is nice. Um, yeah. I'm nice. curious to see though, because I've personally bought all the sales. I'm wondering if the sales will overlap. Like, will the new sales just take over the old ones, or will it like be I both? I think they'll they'll just be like adding a new one. Like, how, remember how they did during like Broly and Gogeta? I think on JP. Yeah, I guess that's true. Like, they just added one new sale, which was. A little, a little, a little. No, no, but little, this is like a whole yeah. new. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But anyway, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. moving on. Um, we have uh, yeah. So LR Oob, like we mentioned before, is going to be added to Battlefield. So that's cool. Yep. Um, the bosses, by the way, um, for that uh, GT special are like all the main villains. So it's like Super Seventeen, yeah. Baby, um, Ice Nova, General Rildo, all all those dudes. Our favorites. Yes, exactly. And that um, actually is it. I just did notice, though. I, I guess I'll point this out real quick. Um, they talk about the coins on the notice for the Super Saiyan 4 banners. And um, in the the legendary coins, it shows... Um, 
I didn't notice this before. It shows Goku and Frieza, and then under that it shows Cell. Mm. And they're available for 500 coins. Mm. Which is, in retrospect, not really a lot, considering how deep you usually go in an LR banner. I mean, that's still 2,500 stones. Yeah, but like, I don't know. That for an LR, you could go that without not getting one. Fair, well, mm, fair enough, I guess. Yeah, but at this point, with how many LRs are in the game, the Majin Vegeta this, banner case closed. You got LRs from that though. No, you just didn't get much of Vegeta. <laughs> no, I didn't. Wait, I didn't get know. anything. I don't think. I think I got one. I rewatched it the other day. Mm. I, don't know. I just rewatched all four. <laughs> You're watching your own content. Hmm? I yeah, that. I am. <laughs> Gotta support the boy. <laughs> support yourself. <laughs> of course. But anyway, uh, that is it for JP News. Um, now to the uh, the shafted version, as <laughs> it were. <laughs> Oof. Nah, honestly, yeah, Global's kind of. Global's popping a little bit? I don't know. I don't know. I'd say Global's popping a little bit more because the only banner that's up right now is still super yeah. I don't know. Anyway. Global's been cruising. It's been cruising along. It's good. Yeah. But we're starting off with another error. <laughs> so there was a, there was a, there was a uh, iOS issue in the store, but that got fixed pretty quickly. And uh, we got the Give It A Dokkan Punch Machine. I, I love, love that name. name. So the original Punch Machine came to Global, which uh, y'all already know how it is. We don't, we, don't, we don't talk about that. Oh, hey, look, Battlefield. Yeah, Battlefield. Fifth virtual Dokkan Battlefield, my favorite. Uh, so more copies of Medical, I'm pretty sure. So that's definitely fun. And here's the big stuff: Gogeta and Broly were teased. Don't the you mean Dokkan. a Gogeta and Broly? Yeah, uh, Gogeta with his bubble text. Yeah, it looked a little bit weird. It looked like on yeah. some uh, Microsoft Word 2003 Word <laughs> art <laughs> memes. Wars. But yeah, so their events got teased, and then the server maintenance was announced, and right after that, or what, no, server maintenance, server maintenance was announced, and then later that day, I'm pretty sure it was later, we yeah. got the part two of the celebration. Mm-hmm. And who boy, this took a little of people, uh, this took people back a little bit from some of the stuff we were getting, because mm-hmm. it is a bit different from JP's, mm-hmm. let's go over it. Mm-hmm. We have the move release a login bonus part two, so more stones from that, along with the special missions. A pretty nice Dragonstone sale. The regular Dragonstone sale. Yeah, so it was really, really good, actually. It wasn't a super sale, it was just regular sale. Yeah, it was okay. really good. The dual Dokkan for Broly and Gogeta was announced, on top of having the 300 hours only super multi summon discount. Oh boy. Which was also very good. Yeah, basically on Global, it was 100 stones for a full rotation, so that was 200 stones for 8 multis. Yeah, which is really very, good. Very wild. And then the events, the greatest adversary of all, and the advent of, advent of omnipotence <laughs> for Gogeta and Broly. Advent of omnipotence. Omnipotence, omnipotence, whatever. No, you're <laughs> so right. right. I'm just saying. It's yeah. still odd. So we have that, and the story event also got updated for getting Blue, Koo, Golden Frieza, and the Super Saiyan Broly. So very nice, very nice free units, along with the EZA for all three of them. Or well, the story, the t- also the story still didn't get added. Yeah, the st- <laughs> story to be released. Yeah, literally. Oh, yeah. Even so, though Broly and Gogeta's event had the story, but whatever. I mean, it's mostly just them yelling, but... <laughs> Shh, it's still part of the movie. Anyhow. Fair enough. We have the uh, AGL Berserker, Berserker, Wrathful Broly. His EZA, that EZA is the code Quinn Code for Gito along with him. Oh boy, Ultra Kai Banner. <laughs> Yay. Yay. They still do the thing. I don't, why do they do that? Where, like, because I don't see, <laughs> like, I would prefer the global one. Like, because it's yeah. 25 for 5 and you can do it four times on global, yeah. but then there's 50 for 10 and you can do it twice on JP. It's the same. It's the same, but you could technically go in less on global yeah. really with only five. Why? What's the point? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> so weird. JP shaft. Yeah, I guess so. And we have all Dokkan events are available. The strongest foes assemble. Oh boy. Stop using that. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Chill. All right, so we have the Wrath of the Dragon story back, and the still global exclusive Monaka costume Beerus is coming back. 
But Tor JP even got it. Wow. I ain't gonna lie. I kind of hope it stays global exclusive because I think they deserve something. I, I don't. Oh, well, here's the thing. Heroes is, isn't going to be JP exclusive for much longer. I'm calling it now. I'm going to call your bluff, but we'll see. None of you. <laughs> no, but they, this has to come to JP in my eyes because, like, they, this released with one of the, like, uh, like I said, the key change items that give 5% more per key sphere. Mm, that's true. And JP, JP already has the other four, which is, like, the Chilai, the Lemo, the... Takoyaki and the Deborah cookie. Mm -hmm. So if they don't get the Monaka, they're literally, it's just going to be incomplete. That's like, true. Unbalanced. Unless they make it another item. True, but I mean, eh, I don't know. Do we really think Akatsuki will put in that much effort? <laughs> it's the opposite, because then they'd have to transfer English code into Japanese code, so they might as well just make a new item and make it easier on themselves. Mm. Fair enough. <laughs> Anyhow, we have the Galactic Crisis Super Guy in the Galaxy. <laughs> never change. Global translators never change. But if you're going to change, start quickly, please. <laughs> <laughs> the movie boss is category summoned. Oh, boy. And this was out of left field. Extreme Z Dokkan Festival. Gogeta. What? Gogeta EVA drops on Global like four months before it should have. Along with EZA Kid Boo, the AGL one. By the way, so, uh, I must say what? this tweet in this podcast. If you that. complained about Gogeta coming early, unfollow me. Un unsubscribe. Unsubscribe, yeah. But yeah, so Gogeta's ECA and the uh, Extreme Z Challenge Pack woo, are coming the 25th, along with the Dokkan events being here daily, so that's cool. And then we also get the Curse of the uh, Curse of the uh, Fruit Punch Rubies. Yeah. There we go. I tried. <laughs> Leave me alone. The nah, first nah. part of the LR Kid Goku is coming to global, which is very nice. Yeah, I, I'm glad these got tacked on to the movie celebration because it definitely makes it more interesting. Yeah, it's cool. So besides that, all the events for part one are still here, and that's about it. And then, uh, oh yeah, we got the login bonus. It's the, it's uh, two stones a day, I believe, which is very nice. Mm -hmm. All the special missions. The updated story event went live, so did Gogeta and Broly. And uh, the EZA also went live. The Dokkan Festival went live, and uh, so did the events. Oh, hey, there's the a new Facebook event. Finally, something that isn't just something going live. <laughs> Which was Broly's Challenges. Nani. But yeah, basically, it's do something in, on Facebook, and you get free stuff for it. Yay. Obviously. Still better than JP's Twitter campaign. Smash the like button for free and dragons. oh, and here's the biggest news. Speaking of free dragon stones, yeah, first place achieved in the global in the global version of Dokkan Battle, one hundred stones and potential orbs, which is like Whack. unheard of for Dokkan. Yeah, for global, like it, it, global has not gotten this much dragon stones. I would want to say from just like regular top grossing in a long time. And it's funny because they actually handled the top grossing differently for this one. Yeah, they did. Yeah, because like in, it says it right here to celebrate achieving first place on Google Play or Apple App Store in 14 regions. So they really just did one or the other this time instead of having it be both. Which for major celebrations, I feel like is very fair. Yeah, because like you have to remember real, the global the global glo global top grossing is a little flawed. Right, like, because JP is like okay. We're, we actually are probably going to make a podcast on this eventually, but yeah. just a quick side note about it: the competitive uh, gotcha market is well extremely competitive in Japan yeah. when it's not so much in like um, other countries. There's not like there's not really a global. All right, sorry, yeah, a global gotcha market. That's not really a thing. You know, there's other yeah, global we have gotcha to deal games. With Fortnite. <laughs> yes, but you know they're and Tinder. They're a Thanks, result Tinder. of, you know, the Japan global or the Japan gotcha market rather. Japan global. But at the same time, Japan is one country, yeah. and those dudes go hard on their gotcha games. Yeah, pretty much. So, yeah. So yeah, J JP hitting the uh, for one store thirty and then both store the hundred is fair, but hey, global got a taste of that hundred stones. Two hundred more, we get that three hundred stones we've all been waiting for. Oh yeah. I had to give the meme. Plus oh, yeah, all those orbs, is... too. Yeah, that was a nice chunk of orbs. Yeah, like, what, what is it in detail? 
It was 2,000 small, 100 medium, and 180 large. Or 1,000 uh, medium, my bad. But yeah, 15,000 potential orbs in total. Bruh. By the way... That's a lot of orbs. We can't uh, mention this without mentioning the fact that uh, Belgium... <laughs> Yeah, Somehow. Okay, they, they actually they actually took the list of countries off of the I saw off that, of the yeah. Thing. Somehow, by some stretch of the imagination, Belgium hit top grossing. If you guys aren't aware, Belgium uh, got Dokkan banned in the region because of a change of uh, quote-unquote yeah. gambling laws. So they literally can't download the game. So either what yeah. happened there was that... Um, you know, whoever does the news updates just had the text file and they had all the countries in there and they just copy and paste it. And they're like, oh, wait, Belgium's still in there. Or all those dudes yeah. in Belgium were using VPNs and were accessing the game illegally. Or, or, or Belgium just breaks all the rules of reality and just <laughs> comes through. They're paranormal. Belgium they're in the Twilight Zone. Yeah. But yeah, so oh, yeah, that is very the odd. extent of our global news. That's the extent of our news in general. <clears throat> I I I kind of like I low key want to interview someone from Belgium who plays the game, who speaks Bad. English, like to find out how that happened or if they still play the game. I don't know. I think that'd, that'd be, be really interesting. But either way, though, uh, let us know in the comments section below what's your theory how yep. Belgium uh, still managed to get top grossing. If you're from Belgium <laughs> and watching this video, thank you for literally yep. breaking the law to give us three stones. <laughs> We appreciate Three seven it. stones is appreciated. Yes. Oh, most certainly. But anyway, um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm, my voice is like... I yeah, I need to get some water after this. <laughs> yeah, we need to take that hot commercial break. But when we come back yep. after that hot commercial break, we are going to be talking about a hot take, which is if the LR Super Saiyan 4s from the fourth year anniversary are underwhelming or not. This is a very controversial topic. We're going to have a boxing match live. Ding, ding, ding. That's no, good. we kind of agree, but also, do, I don't know. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about we? it. But dun, dun, Any. dun. But no, it's been a kind of a controversial topic in the community. Yeah. Um, for a little while now, so we just wanted to kind of throw our hats in the ring. But yeah, so we're going to take a quick commercial break, and then we'll be uh, back after these messages. Bye, and watch that ad. <laughs> Welcome back. We hope you enjoyed the, uh, let's see, it'll either be a TikTok ad, a car ad. You better ad. have enjoyed that ad. Yes, better have enjoyed that ad. Exactly. Don't just watch it, enjoy it. <laughs> Savor the ad. I was going to say flavor the ad, but that that's not... I guess that works too. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> but anyhow, today we're going to get into our topic of discussion. So Are basically, the, we're yeah, monkey. Basically, everyone's monkey. Yeah. Are the Super Saiyan 4s from the 4th anniversary... No, no, no. From, from the original ones. The 120. No, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the 120 ones. Yeah, of course. No, the, uh, the LR Super Saiyan 4s, are they underwhelming? We're going to go over them first. We're going to go over yeah. um, all their card details, and then we're going to sort of give you our thoughts on them, and we'll sort of kind of talk about, too, why the community, you know, thought that they were underwhelming originally yeah. and kind of why they still do. Um, so we're going to go over all that. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, Von is going to start us off with Super Saiyajin for Son Goku. Do you want me to go over the entire thing about the card, or you want to go Everything. one? Everything. Uh... Everything, everything. All right, so we have the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. He, he is the Goku's lineage. 170% HP and attack, 130% defense lead, or Super HL types, 3 key and 120%. So he essentially replaces Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta on a 120 team if you want to use him as the lead. But right, but you can run both. Why that not? thankfully does not replace the Super Saiyan 4 on his team. Um, yeah. Because they did do it nicely where you can still run the other Super Saiyan 4 on the team. So, like, Vegeta is optimal on this team to link with Goku. Even yeah, he's though the best he, Right. Even though his leader skill got replaced. So, he's not yeah. irrelevant completely, which is nice. Exactly. So we Oh, and the, by the way, the same applies for Goku with Vegeta. But anyway, go ahead. Yeah. So, we have the super attacks, which are Meteor Smash and Kamehameha for... 17 or 12 17 and then the 18 key <laughs> the 17 key super yes yeah, mm, my favorite his 12 key massively raises defense for one turn and causes colossal damage while his 18 key massively raises attack and defense for bank uh, for one turn and causes make colossal damage to the enemy yeah so his um it's kind of interesting um let's just throw this in here right now we we're talking about this 
Um, me and Kayvon talked about this before, and I think um, I originally heard about this and kind of like made the um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like the connection when Truth was talking about it in a video that technically um, we'll pop over to Vegeta just for one second for this. Well, actually, you know what? No, we'll talk about it when Vegeta. Um, I'll put that as a mental note in my mind. Basically, something related to their 12 key specifically that's kind of unique about... Well, not unique about them, I guess, but is um, a little bit interesting factoid about them, I suppose. Um, nonetheless, though, passive skill, I'll be the victor, which I, uh, <laughs> I kind of like the little, uh, hey, I'll be the victor kind of like me. But um, attack plus 80% and defense plus 20% at the start of each turn up to 80%. So Goku gets the 80% attack boost right away um, while he needs to build the defense as the turns progress um, as Indeed well. he does. Sorry about that. Thank you for taking over. Now you're good. Uh, key right, plus so. two in addition here. You can take the first half of Vegeta yeah. then. Um, key plus two in addition to, uh, additional, uh, wait, whoa, 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 key plus two in addition, um, per rainbow and AGL key sphere obtained. No, 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 I'm reading it back. Actually, wait, do they have this written backwards? What do you mean? Key plus, uh, key plus two in addition per rainbow and AGL key sphere obtained. Shouldn't it be per rainbow and AGL key sphere obtained plus two key? No, that's how they use the word. Same thing with Elagon. Weird. Either way, though, yeah. they get two key per rainbow and AGL. Well, Goku gets which is, two key yeah. per rainbow and AGL. Which, you're right, is absolutely disgusting. Yeah, um, they, they're always getting the 24. Yeah, they, like, you can be, you know, like, literally two orbs if you have an AGL and a rainbow is four key for them. Which is, like, yeah. disgusting. So... They super on their 24 very easily. Um, besides that, though, medium I'll chance. The, uh, or I'll okay. take over the rest, actually. Go ahead. So we have the immediate chance of evading the enemy super attack and countering with tremendous power. Mm -hmm. And uh, over in the detail section over here, it says uh, tremendous uh, power modifier is 300%, like it usually is. And then we're going into their active skill, which is the which for Goku is the times 10 coming out, which massively raises attack temporarily. Which temporarily, in this case, refers to just during the attack. Mm -hmm. It doesn't affect anything after the attack, whatever, which is what a lot of people thought. And causes ultimate damage, which is a 750% SA modifier. Which is brand new, by the way, to these yeah. guys. Plus 100, because he mass his attack. Actually, no. He won 100. The mass his attack is during the attack, which is not to the SA modifier, I believe. Hmm, which is crazy. So they're getting 100% attack during that attack, which is why it hit so hard. So yeah, and causes ultimate damage to the enemy can be activated from the fourth turn from the start of battle once only. And then the links are the standard Super Saiyan, Prepare for Battle, Saiyan, Roar, Kamehameha, GT, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. And this Goku's actually on Shadow Dragons, which is amazing. Thank Fierce God. Saiyans and Goku's lineage. Um, yeah, that's Goku as a whole. Yeah, it is... Um... The active skills, obviously, is a brand new thing, but yeah. that is part of what makes these units so disgusting, and we'll talk about it a little bit more yeah. after we go over both, but because it's literally like a free super before you do anything, right? Yeah. Like, it's just a free, like, a free milli, basically. So even like a guaranteed additional in a way. Right, yeah, except before anything starts. And then, on top of that, they're already getting, basically guaranteeing their... Um, they're 18 key, considering that they get double from Rainbow and AGL. Yeah. It's still crazy. Um, all right, so you want to go over the leader skill and the super attack, and I'll go over the rest for Vegeta? Actually, you can just take it over. I don't okay, know. bet. All right, fight me about it. <laughs> <laughs> leader skill. Vegeta's lineage category, key plus three. Um, uh, I almost said HP attack yeah. and defense plus 130%. No. He gets HP, well, all of Vegeta's lineage gets HP plus 130 and attack and defense plus 170%. Um, just like, obviously, the Goku's lineage is the counterpart. And this is a new category, yeah. by the way, along with Goku's lineage. Um, Vegeta low-key, a little shaft with that leader skill, with the HP part, at least. Yeah, but it's okay. Um, yeah, but it's right. it is nice um, because it includes, for both these categories, like all their family members, even the yeah. wives, which is... Kind of interesting because technically that's not their lineage, but well, unless you're Vegeta, where Bulma, like, because the only Bulma cards we have for Vegeta are Dragon Ball Bulma. 
Right, which doesn't count. So, yeah, because that's before she met Vegeta. So. Right. So either way, though, like Chi Chi's on Goku's lineage, which like technically that's not like they just got married. Like you know they're not related yeah. before they get married. I don't know. Just kind of like an interesting observation, but nonetheless, yeah. um, he of course replaces Goku as the STR leader for Super uh, Key plus three HP attack and defense plus one twenty percent. But just like um, Goku with Vegeta, you can run Vegeta with Goku, and because he's yep. the best link buddy for this Vegeta, which is very nice. Super attack, spirit break cannon, and final flash. Um, the spirit break cannon massively raises attack for one turn and causes colossal damage to the enemy. And the final flash massively raises attack uh, and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage to the enemy. Um, passive skill, it won't end like this. A defense... <laughs> plus 80% and attack plus 20% at the start of each turn up to 80%. So as a uh, the opposite to Goku, Vegeta gets the defense boost right off the bat with the max defense he can get and he has to build his attack as the fight goes on. In addition, um he gets the same thing as Goku where he gets uh two key per rainbow except uh, the difference is STR obviously since he's an STR type. And then the same thing medium chance of evading the enemy super attacking counting with tremendous power. So they both have a counter which is nice. Um it's kind of unfortunate that they're a little bit lazy with those because uh the super saiyan 4 goku one is literally well we'll talk about this a little bit more later but it's literally just the full power one and vegeta's yeah. is literally just full power goku except replaced with vegeta sprites but the one thing i want to note real quick about the super attack is by technicality's sake um vegeta is the better attacking unit and i know that sounds stupid because obviously goku gets the attack right off the bat but if you assume that both of them are at their full boost where they have um, built yeah. up their attack and defense, obviously, you know, the 20% every turn yeah, that they're Gino out. Would technically yeah. hit harder with his 12 key. Right. Because his 12 key raises attack for one turn and Vegeta's, or excuse me, Vegeta's raises attack for one turn and Goku's raises defense for one turn on his 12 key. So again, that's assuming if they have their full boost. Otherwise, however, um, Goku's obviously Otherwise, a better if... attacker. And if they're both hitting their 18 key, they're both going to be comparable damage. Mm -hmm. They'll be pretty much the same. Yeah. But it's just kind of interesting um, that that's the case because, you know, obviously you kind of assume that Vegeta is the defensive unit. But yeah, the other, you know, kind of problem with that, too, is just that you you have to build it up. And yeah, with, Vegeta got the he drew the short stick in the scenario, honestly, with how powerful they are, you might not even get there. But yeah. And plus, you might not even get the 12 key considering their key mechanic. That's how but. powerful their teams are, too. Yes, that's true. But anyhow, active skill for Vegeta is final shine attack. Massively raises attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage to the enemy. Again, using that new modifier. Can be activated from the start of the fourth turn from the start of battle once only just like Goku's. So very nice there. Um, links are Super Saiyan, Saiyan Roar, Prepare for Battle, Saiyan Pride, GT, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power, and categories are Shadow Dragons, Pure Saiyans, and Vegeta's Lineage. So, let's talk about these guys. People thought originally um, that they were kind of underwhelming for a couple of reasons. One, that 80% attack boost. Um, yeah, that was the main right seems like not a lot but you know it wasn't really taken into consideration that they have uh you know the basically that free super attack with a new yeah. multiplier as well um that and like they're massively raising their attack and defense on their 24 key which, which they're always getting which adds an extra 100 percent to their sa modifier which really boosts up their damage right think of their Think of their 24 key as if this tank is always hitting his 11 key. Yeah, which is nuts. Which is disgusting. Yeah, absolutely nuts. And they don't take like a billion damage every time. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, obviously it's sort of like you kind of, you know, as a unit, you get to play with it a little bit more. You kind of understand more and more about it. And so that's how that sort of like evolved. Um, now, I have heard people still say after that. Um, that they think that the Super Saiyan 4s are still underwhelming, despite, um, you know, knowing all that information. And I believe the main source of that, at least from what I've seen, is that they're being compared to the third year LRs. And the third year LRs are quite overwhelming, um, especially when they transform. Yeah. 
right? Like when Super Vegito transforms, you might as well just close the app because you already won. Yeah. So a lot of people are saying, you know, compared to them, um, they are not as good. And so, well, the other thing too, that a lot of people are saying regarding the third year LRs, um, what the, I thought was kind of interesting was that they came out before their time and they weren't ready to come out yet considering how long it takes them to transform. Um, yeah, that is the main thing holding them back as cards nowadays. Right. And, you know, because events aren't long enough to, you know, basically obtain their transformation, which I do yeah. hope they make events longer. And unfortunately, the events, we're not really talking about the events in this video, but the events for these guys were really easy, unfortunately. Yeah. But... Sadly. You know, comparing, and I don't know, would you say that Super Gito and Gogeta are better than these guys? What do you think? Well, honestly, like, I, the more I think about it, the more I, I think that I feel like them and their base forms, mm -hmm. I feel What do you like, mean by base form? Oh, you mean Gogeta like and Super Gito? Yeah. Okay. Not transformed, I think, if anything, they're, I don't know, because, like, I haven't used units myself, so I don't know how high they can get oh, to. Oh, the Super Saiyan 4s? Yeah. Yeah. But from what I did see from like how much they boost themselves, how easy it is for them to get their twenty four key and how their ultimate attack literally is just a free like two mil damage. Mm -hmm. I think that with that in mind, they can do more, especially with the category they lead. Mm -hmm. They can do more than them on the the Super Saiyan or the the duo units. The fusions, yeah. Yeah. They can do more than them when they're untransformed. When they're transformed, I feel like it's more equal. Okay. And Vegito's just still busted, so... <laughs> yeah, well, the counters is what really puts him over the edge, yeah. but... I That's another thing, speaking of counters... Uh, sorry to cut you yeah, off. Yeah, no, you're good. The counters the Super Saiyan 4s have really boost their damage output, too. That's sure, true. it's only a medium chance, but since they're both probably... Especially on Shadow Dragons, those two are going to be on a main rotation with each other. Right. And so you're going to see them countering a lot more than just seeing, like, Super Saiyan 4 counter. And Super two. Saiyan 4, like, the original's counter, once, uh, like, per rotation. Like... I feel like every time they've taken a super attack, they counter. Maybe there's like once or twice I haven't seen them actually counter. So the, it seems like they do it pretty frequently, mm. um, just from like personal experience. But, you know, I would say that, um, you know, it's just kind of interesting that the community still thinks that. And some people are just kind of like, yeah, they're not that good, which is like ridiculous because they're definitely some of the best units in the game. Yeah. Um, I don't know. But like us personally... I don't think that they're underwhelming. Um, I think that, like, just as the card goes, um, I definitely, th yeah, I definitely think that too, that they are certainly better than the Fusion LRs in their base form, for sure. Just, yeah. like, that active skill is so broken, and I feel like Dokkan events really need to start getting harder, to be honest. If they're yeah. going to be keeping up with how powerful these cards are. Because, like, you know, like, just think about it this way, right? Just for the easiest example. You're pretty much getting that, you know, 18 key at least, if not the max key every time. You get that free active skill, not to mention the counters, right? And if you're running them both on the same team, you're getting two active skills off, too. Yep. So, you know, and not to mention them on their teams, you know, obviously Fusions, Potara, Vegeta's Lineage, and Goku's Lineage are all very powerful teams. Yeah, but, definitely. you know, on, like, you know, Goku's Lineage, you can also have uh, counters with full power, too. So, mm. I don't know. But what do you think? Do you do you think that they're, like, just a blanket yes or no for the, the like, stats, at least, I guess? Underwhelming? No, I don't think they're on the way. Okay. I don't like, think, I think so even if their attack stats aren't as high as like LR Goku and Frieza, because those real those guys hit way too hard. Mm -hmm. Like the the amount of like how do I like they they do so many other things like they have the active skill they super way too easy they can counter both of them can tank yeah very well Vegeta starting better than Goku and vice versa you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Their link sets are amazing. They both have Saiyan Roar, which is a 25% attack link. People sleep on that. Yeah, for sure. That factors into their damage a lot. And the fact that the act... Like, if, if I... I could be wrong, but the active skill basically takes them at their peak. Like, I think it puts them, like, 24 key for that attack or it something. It does, yeah. And then it does essentially 850% of that factoring in links, too. 
it's stupid. Yeah, it's very stupid. Yeah. So I don't think they're underwhelming in the slightest in that regard. Um, I understand why people originally thought that, but I will say, um, because obviously when we're taking a card into consideration, I feel like we have to take the entire card, not just the stats, because obviously, you know, Dokkan is more than just stats. Then we just be writing numbers on a piece of paper, right? Exactly. Let's talk about the essays. <laughs> that was a good segue. Yikes. Okay, so let's get let's get let's get this out of the way. The essays are good. They're yes. very nice essays. They're very nice. They're yeah. lazy though. Yes. Now we're talking about twenty four keys specifically because yeah, the twelve keys are pretty nice. Yeah, the oh. twelve keys are quite similar, but you know they're like they're countering each other as LR, yeah. so that's kind of like to be expected. Yeah. So those the, are all the original. Ultimate attacks too are pretty nice too. Yes, I know you have a little. Yeah, I'll talk about that. I'll talk about render, but. but the 12 keys, keys yeah are nice but they're 12 yeah. or they're 24 keys rather yes are copied right from the battlefield goku and vegeta um, yeah, just with a little difference with a, right they have like a little bit of a gt theme to them yeah so it's you know it is kind of disappointing especially for units that as big as the fourth year anniversary like do you understand for a gacha game to be yeah. going on for fourth years that that's incredible like now granted i will say the super attacks for Goku and Vegeta, like the last uh, third year LRs, mm -hmm. they're super, like, we're just not even talking about how the fact that their uh, 12 keys are essentially the same for both of them. Mm -hmm. But And their 18 keys are, like, they're cool, especially Gogeta's, or Goku and Vegeta angels. Right. Uh, Kamehameha and Final Flash, it's a nice looking essay, simple, mm -hmm. clean. And the uh, spear bomb one that clean. Goku... And Vegeta do that transform to Vegeta. It's very nice, but like for them, their highlight is when they're at their transformed when they hit right. their twenty four oh. key. Oh. They still oh. hold up a year later. They're beautiful. Yeah. Oh, they'll hold up for the rest of the game's lifespan. They're so yep. good. And like to be honest with you, and this might be a controversial statement here, but I like the Super Saiyan four essays more than I like those guys. To be honest. Maybe it's just because I'm mean? sick of seeing them because I, you know, use them all the time. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I just get it over with by now. And I don't see the fusions enough. And yeah, you know, enough. I just fair pulled enough. the Super Saiyan Force. But I don't know. I like those better. Um, I definitely like the 12 key better than I think even the 24 key on the fusion LRs. Um, it's very <clears> nice. I do like how they kind of divvied it up with, you know, Goku being a little bit more focused on punching and Vegeta being a little bit focused on kicking. I thought that was a nice yeah. little sort of like um, difference between the two. Another thing, though, that was kind of uh, underwhelming about the animation specifically was obviously the counter was stolen directly from um, Super Saiyan 4 full power Goku's counter. Yeah. And the, Vegeta just kicks instead of punches. And right. Is. It's the same rip. Yeah, it's the same rip, just with different um, assets, yeah. obviously, to compensate for Vegeta. So that was, again, a little bit disappointing. Like, I feel like they definitely could have put more effort into that. Yeah. Like, I understand, you know, like, reusing assets and animations isn't a bad thing, but if you're going to do it, you can't make it noticeable. Yeah, you have to, you have to like, not make it so blatant. You have to finesse. <laughs> it's like, like, I, I'm going I'm to just make this, I'm going to tie this into something really obscure. Way back when, old Disney movies reused animation everywhere, but it That's still true. wasn't even noticeable. That's true. I know that's very random to bring up. But no, yeah, I mean, they do that all the time in animation. Yeah. Um, they, that's even been done in Dragon Ball Super, because I remember noticing, yeah. like, wait, didn't I just watch this? But um, nonetheless, right, you know, you have to make it, you know, not very noticeable. Obviously, someone is going to notice, but, yeah. you know, to the general consensus, because, I mean, like, literally as soon as they come out, everybody was like, whoa, 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 hold on a second yeah. there, buddy. Show to the moment. Yeah, exactly. So... I I would say in terms of super attacks, yes, they are underwhelming. Yeah. I, I would definitely agree with that because literally the only redeeming yeah. factor about that, like, again, not that they're bad animations, it's just that they're copied and pasted, which is frustrating. So, yeah. I mean, I would say their only redeeming factor in that regard is the 12 keys. So, mm. oh, and then, yes, let's talk about the active skills. Vegeta's, oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's yeah. nice movement, clean renders. The ending render looks clean where he's winding up to throw the pitch. You know, yeah. that's a clean render. Um, the only problem I have is the voice lines, but for, that's for both. Yes, because, uh, and we'll talk about boy, that too. Let's finish the animation first. So, like you were talking about earlier, 
Goku's animation looks very s- not stale, like very st- not static either. It's like L.R. Gohan's essay where they're just moving the mm. Carter up and down, like they're just moving that picture of Goku up and down a little bit. And I don't even think the you know the art of Goku looks particularly that good. Um, it's weird though. Like when they zoom in on his face, I'm like, okay, that looks all right. But then when they zoom out, I'm like, it doesn't look, I don't know. Maybe it just doesn't fit in my mind. You know, again, that's me personally. Like I know, like just for example, like a facial structure type thing, like some figures, I'm like, yeah, that face looks really weird. And then other people are like, it looks fine to me. And I'm like, boy, but you know, that's just personal opinion. Um, and then even the render at the end for Super Saiyan 4 Goku looks nice, but there's still something about like. I don't know if his body is too skinny or his face or something. I don't know. Um, it's definitely not as bad as the beginning part, though. Yeah. But nonetheless, though, yes, let's talk about the voice lines. Um, <laughs> those are cool, but also have a little hint of underwhelmingness. I think that's just because of reused um, sound bites reused and, out. yes, and um, low quality sounds. But that is kind of important to be there. But you talk about that. Talk, yeah, talk you about were it. Off a little bit. No, talk about it. Oh, you talk about uh, <laughs> yeah. No, well, talk about the voice clips. <laughs> well, they both like from what I've heard, especially through like YouTube videos and all that, they sound like pretty low quality. They were but, recorded on a toaster. Yeah, yeah, they were. But at the same time, it's good in a way, so it doesn't take up much data. Right, that's important to remember. Yeah, but at the same time, they could have at least had some like at least re like had Goku. Like, uh, was it Moscow knows how, right? Yeah. At least have uh, her say uh, Kamehameha. Right. And not reuse the summon animation one. Yeah. And it sounds awkward, too, because it it doesn't sound like the rest of it. Like, you know, he says, uh, you know, he says the beginning part, which sounds pretty cool, actually. Um, But then, you know, he says the rest of it. And then the Kamehameha is clearly from the summon. And you're like. Am I trying to pull an LR here? What's going on? Yeah. You know, and then Vegeta sounds nice, although I don't like how he, like, this is just nitpicking, but he's like, find no shine. And then, like, he doesn't follow it up with, like, attack. He follows it up with, like, attack, like that. Like, just kind of like yeah. a little quick little meme, which I'm just not a big fan of personally, but yeah. it's definitely better than reusing Goku's. If anything, I will yeah. say. Maybe once they hit global, the voice lines would sound a bit different, maybe more, like, impactful. Well, yeah, we'll have to... That'll be interesting. Do you think they'll keep the Japanese voice lines? Also... Well, they have to, because you can play the game English or Japanese. I was just going to say, so then that means that the global data file is going to be bigger, because it'll have to accommodate for the... I almost said the global voice, the English voice, and the Japanese voices. Though, from what I see, the game didn't get that much bigger because of it, Granted, this is only like there's only three voice lines so far. Right, with Pan but, and the Super Saiyan yeah. Force. So yeah, yeah so. it's definitely important though to keep that in mind that the low quality is not because I mean when I say that like the they recorded with a toaster that's more of just like a little meme if anything. Yeah. Um, they didn't obviously they didn't actually record it at that quality. They recorded it with you know like regular quality equipment and yeah, then they had like, to reduce it down. right to fit in the game's files. So yeah. So, yeah, and, like, that's, you know, that could also bring up the argument of, like, the the lower render arts, but, like, that's neither here nor there. Um, so there's that. Um, oh, let's talk about real quick, I guess, um, the card art itself. Um, I thought it was pretty solid. All of them are pretty solid, to be honest. Um, yeah. The Super Saiyan 4 SSR arts are very nice. Those are clean renders for sure. Um, yeah, definitely. I'm a big fan of the TUR arts. Those are very nice as well. Um, I think they're very solid. The LR arts are really good as well. I have a problem with how far Goku's mouth is up compared to his nose, but that's just, <laughs> again, nitpicking. Um, yeah. But I think they're all very solid. Um, they're definitely good LR arts because um, I know that's sometimes fun. some people are like, eh, that one doesn't look that good. But no, I think they were, they're pretty good. Um, yeah. Like I'd say like Cell's LR art is a little bit underwhelming. Like it's yeah, just I, like I sell, honestly, it's sell in general. <laughs> well, well, that's yeah, true. We, we, <laughs> but we, like, we can sell discussion, though. but yeah, but I mean, like, I like sells SSR art better than the um. I mean, the S or the SSR is fire. Right, yeah, because it's like when he breaks into the um the news station, which is really cool. But exactly. Anyway, 
So I don't know. Um, overall, what do you think? Yeah. What do you, what like? What's our definitive answer here? Yes or no? I, I, my definitive answer is no. They're not under They're not done their at all. I would agree with you. See, we did agree. They're great cards. Yeah. But there definitely are underwhelming aspects yeah. to them that we can acknowledge. Yes. I would definitely say that that's for sure. Yeah, exactly. I think that they could have, like, I don't know. I just wish that they would have not copied the essays. I feel like, too, yeah. like, if they didn't do that, half of this discussion wouldn't even be here, right? If they just didn't like, use the I feel the like, essays. if any, like, it's, this is very controversial still, but I feel like they put more effort into the new LR Oobs essays than the new uh, Goku. Mm, and, uh, maybe they did that on purpose Goku since it's part two. Uh, mm. Maybe. Mm. I mean, who knows? Maybe when we get LR Baby and... Uh, the LR Saya Squad. We'll see their essays. Well, we know the LR Saya Squad. Their essay is disgusting. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it's a five minute long video. Yeah, yeah. literally. We might you might as well just yeah. pop on the, a YouTube video, the intro to GT, because you're gonna be sitting there for a while. <laughs> yep. Might as well just play the uh, Yeah, Dan Dan, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but nonetheless though, um I, I think this is a discussion for another time, but I do wonder, considering what these dudes are what this means for the future of the anniversary units going forward. Because mm -hmm. I think that could definitely be an interesting conversation. Um, because there's certainly, like, considering how disgusting the third LR, LR still are, and frankly, I think they yeah. still have more potential, especially when they start bringing in yeah. longer events. Um, plus, I still feel like... Even if the transformations don't go off so much, they are still, in my opinion, the ideal way for a transformation mechanic to work. Right, because it's like when your back is yeah. against the wall. Yeah, because, like, look at the Blue Evolution or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, sure, his transformation is great. <laughs> he just pops off whenever, dude. Yeah, but, like, it's like, oh, he suddenly transformed. Like, But, like, with the Fusion LRs, like, you need to have your back against the wall. Like, when Goku and Vegeta fought Janemba, their back was against the wall and when they had to fuse. Right. Same thing with uh, Super Boo, yeah. Vegito and uh, yeah. So like, I, I feel like like sure it sucks from a gameplay perspective, but it makes sense. Right, that's true. Although I just don't, I wish that the turns wasn't so much. That I will agree with. Yeah, I feel like the HP restriction is the HP restriction is more uh, understandable. The turn part is a little annoying. Yeah, well, because like the active skills right for these guys are just four turns until that gets popped yeah. off. Like and even Gogeta and Broly is only a. Uh, four and five turns respectively for them to transform like right. automatically exactly so i don't know i was trying to think there's I... one unit that i think is a really good example of their transformation mechanic i can't think of UI who goku. it is though yeah i think it is ui goku because it's like i would say ui goku or oob because yeah like when their hp is low they transform yeah which ui goku like it's funny because ui goku not healing anything kind of like goes in turn like what he's based off being right. like determined of power like yeah. he just gets a boost and like he doesn't get healed up by it like, and i just, think that's a perfect yeah. representation of the character because i really like well, it when gokan gokan when Go dokan <laughs> represents a character very well with a card and i think and that's with, pretty good with oob he heals because obviously like matcha and cells like regeneration stuff like that you yeah you'd know about that yeah because because you're boo exactly yeah <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, though, um, oh, I'm an alarm. Yeah, but um, well, you already were in Hercule, but yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Wait, bro. Two LRs that boost him that he's not in the name, bro. <laughs> Ouch! I'm hurt. I'm hurting now. LR boo coming, can, can coming. We, can we end this podcast? I need to go cry. <laughs> But anyway, y'all, that is going to yeah. do it uh, for this week. We hope you enjoyed the discussion. Let us know what you think of the Super Saiyan 4 LRs in the comment yeah, section below. Very one. curious to hear. They're overrated, underrated, who knows? Yeah, who knows? But uh, before we end... Description. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> Leave your thoughts in the comments, not your comment in the description. Oh, <laughs> I was like, what are you... I heard description, I was like, huh? Nani? <laughs> but yeah, um, next week, to give you a little teaser at the end of this... We're going to have the boy, Goresh. That's right. Nani. He's going to be our next um, podcast guest. So definitely look forward to that. That'll be in yep. two weeks, of course. Um, the interview is already recorded. It's yeah. one that you're definitely not so going to want to miss. Uh, dated, who knows? No, no, no. We didn't really talk about it. it it's still yeah. all encompassing. It works. Yeah, well. yeah. Thankfully, um, there wasn't really any joke on top because we know how fast this game goes sometimes. Yes, exactly. But <laughs> definitely keep an eye out for that. It was yeah. a very fun interview with Goresh. We learned some things definitely. about him. 
that uh, I definitely wouldn't have known otherwise. Uh, and he's a super <laughs> chill dude. So definitely go check that out. Things that are better left unsaid. <laughs> Until the next episode, yeah. But anyhow, <laughs> definitely tune in for that. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode from all of us here at the Extreme Z Podcast. We'll see you in the next one. Later.